Hello guys, today I want to read to you another lesson from my latest course which is PHP for Laravel developers and this is related to array functions, PHP array functions. Quite often in the code I see people trying to use Laravel collections while there are totally valid good old array methods from PHP. We collected some open source examples into this lesson and let's take a look together. It was interesting to look for those examples because last year I did the same with collections. So there's a separate course on Laravel daily for Laravel collections with 15 real examples of code like this. But it's possible to find a lot of examples with array functions in PHP as well. So let's take a look. Example one is from filament core source code where they check if that variable is array, then we count the items. Otherwise, we just return zero. Simple example and no need for any collections or Laravel helpers. Another example comes from Laravel Jetstream, where the function is building an array, so array merge of a few arrays. The first one is user to array. So actually user is an eloquent object probably. So we transform that to array. Then we filter the teams of that user and then also merge the two factor enabled or not. So this all comes together as a result of a few array functions into a user with more key values in the array. The next quick example comes from another open source project called Crater. And this is just quickly adding an element to the array. You do array push, you have your current array and then push this exact element with its keys. Nothing more to add here, a simple example. Example four is array map. Map is one of the most oftenly used functions in collections in Laravel, but there's also array map, which does a similar thing. So we're doing array map with string to lower function. So the result of that is an array and then we're checking if current username is in that array. Example number five comes from ERP SAS project, which is actually filament, but this is a good example how you can use stuff like filament and live wire and Laravel, but still underneath you call PHP functions like array map. And this is the example array map with static function, transforming the category names as a bulleted list, and then adding a new line break after each of them. It's basically building an HTML for bulleted list for the notification. I actually have a separate video on that particular filament feature from another channel filament daily, and I will link that in the description below if you're interested in that. Example number six, array keys and values. And this comes from Laravel framework itself. So there's class array in Laravel and there's a helper function divide. And under the hood, it calls two PHP functions, array keys and array values. Another example number seven is array unique, which comes from another open source project called link ace. And this is actually a questionable example because errors all returns the array and then we call array unique on the array. But in this case, errors is probably a collection. So it could be shorter to call unique just here without transforming that into array. So if there is a collection function or Laravel function for that, you probably shouldn't transform it into PHP one. And the last example, array search, which would give you the ID. So the key of array, if you provide the value like admin or worker, it should return one or two. So yeah, these are examples from open source project about PHP arrays. If you want the full course called PHP for Laravel developers, I will link that in the description below. And this comes kind of as a reminder that Laravel is a great framework, but sometimes PHP functions are also useful. Technically they are probably faster because Laravel is another layer on top. And it of course depends on the situation, but I hope this reminder will motivate you to at least take a look at the PHP documentation for arrays. Quite a lot of methods there. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.